Oh my giddy aunt, it's freezing. I think uh, winter's uh, finally arrived. I mean, look at this, look at this pond. It's rock solid. Uh, I think it's time to start uh, installing the heater in the van. Well, this is it. This is uh, a heater. This is in fact an air heater and a, a water heater uh, called a Truma. And uh, the previous van, I installed one that ran off gas, uh, but this Truma will actually run with the diesel of the van. So I've plumbed a, a fuel line into the tank of the vehicle, and with a little pump, I can actually keep my heating going using the van's diesel, uh, diesel tank, and I think it's going to be a lot more efficient uh, in the long term. And uh, a really expensive piece of kit, I think you could buy yourself a a good second-hand car is what this thing costs, but uh, as you can appreciate, a really important part of uh, this whole process. Uh, this this heater will also run off AC, so I've got my AC cables coming in from the outside, but that needs DC as well. Um, I've got this EPSO unit, and this is the, the unit that manages the charge coming in from the solar panel and from the vehicle, and manages your, your battery. Uh, and then for this van I've also gone and bought myself a lithium battery. Uh, the last van, I think the battery, the battery weighed 75 kilos. And for the same amount of charge, uh, this battery uh, only weighs 13 kilos. So a huge uh, weight saving um, battery and a much more efficient one as well. Uh, and then you'll see over here, I've gone and already built my little control panel. So there's my control for the Truma water levels, battery levels, and my distribution for my fuse, my fuses. So in terms of the electrics of the van, I've got myself a 420 watt solar panel sitting on the roof, which pushes out 30 volts at 5 amps. I've got a smart alternator that can push out about 40 amps, which feeds my EPSO, which will in turn charge my 100 amp hour LiPo battery. I've got my Truma, which will take a diesel from the diesel tank plus that'll run off 220 but it also needs 12 volts uh, power I'll have an AC d distribution box I've got my DC distribution box uh, my fridge which is a 12 volt uh, compressor fridge uh, requires uh, DC current as well at the end of the day it's it's so complicated uh, I, yeah if I can just achieve a situation where I'm sitting outside watching the Sun go down and decide to come inside, open up my fridge, get myself a nice cold beer. And you know how that first beer makes you feel really, really nice that you've just got to get yourself a second beer. Come in the van, turn on the light, get myself a second beer. I'll be a happy chappy.